most about Donner's Grove South is that no matter who you're friends with you can always find more friends and there's no matter what you're interested in you can always find more people like that are interested in those same things and there's so many different things going on and stuff that you can always get into something.
I go for, ma for mice, yeah. Just... yeah. Manly mice, that is. <laughs> what have you been doing lately? Watching TV. Oh, very good. What's on? One Life to Live, don't bother me. Turn around, let everybody see your tail. Could you shake it for us? Oh, very good. The no, she is the no, greatest. No, you are the she greatest. Is. No, you are. We gotta make up our minds somewhere. I don't He's even amazing. wanna talk about it. Mr. Anello threw a pencil at my head during orchestra practice. Oh, Mr. Anello can get vicious sometimes. What oh. are you talking about? Oh, this young lady claims that you threw a pencil in her head. Well, she was lucky it was not a baton. It would have gone further. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just giving blood. Oh. Yes, um, I'm just getting the, the, the flying technique of the blood. Oh, it's, it looks like it's like flying out of his ear or something. Um, yeah, it's like a third eye in a way. <laughs> Anybody been playing pool with your head? Uh, no, but they have been rubbing it for good luck. Mm. Oh, I'll do that. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Do I want to? Do I want to? Are you asking me to lick your hair? <laughs> I think I'll pass. Oh, that's all I gotta say is Ross Perot, Beatles. That's about it. Oh, you're spiffed up. What's the occasion? Oh, there is no occasion. Just felt like putting on a suit today. That's how I woke What's up. Yeah. Occasion? Not too good. Well, excuse me, miss. What are you running here? Um. <laughs> Very good. Am I on now? Oh, yes, you are. Oh, my God. Ed, Brad, stop that. <laughs> Don't you have any comment on anything? I'm sorry? Don't you have any comment on anything? I think this idea is good. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm doing good. We're sitting here eating with this is Mark. Oh, Mark, captain of the football team. How are you doing? Fine. Uh, your full name? Oh, Lenka Makalova. Uh, and, and you are from? From Czechoslovakia. You are an uh, exchange student? Yes. How do you like our school? Uh, I like I like very much. Well, I'm not really wearing a costume. But if I were, I'd probably be an alien. Do you have any comments, ma'am? About what? About Halloween in general. Oh, Halloween in general? Yeah. Whoopee. Fun time. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> Joe, what made you decide to uh, dress up like a woman today? Oh, uh, one of my friends. She decided to dress me up. One of your friends decided. Was this your mother? No. Oh, it was your mother? No. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Oh, even the shoes. Yeah. I think that the games here at Downers Grove South should be free, so all the students can enjoy to see kids like Jason Sparks play good soccer me games. Too. But unfortunately, I, I had a pass. That's very. <laughs> That's very true, and I'll uh, back you up on that anytime. No, I'm not a raccoon. <laughs> I, I am a psychotic senior. Psychology for a hundred. Okay. Um, let's try it. Oh. <clears throat> Who became an authority on cognitive development? Here are your choices. Um, let's eh, see. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a camera. Wow. Am I, am I like on camera? Am I like a star? You want to see my imitation of a duck? <laughs> Surprise! Okay. No, they're going to be here, here on Senior Dish Day, here. Oh, in this office? No, no, <laughs> in this school. They're not going to ditch. There is no such thing. See? Do you have any jokes for the camera? Jokes? No, I think there's a joke behind the camera, though. <laughs> Sorry. At least didn't say anything about me. I've got a microphone. Well, you're a nice guy, too. For a fat guy, you don't sweat much. <laughs>
have a good life or a good whichever comes first. <laughs> Look at that. It's a toilet ninja. Keeping your toilet safe. What about Halloween? Um, it's good stuff. Halloween's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Get get high off Halloween. In 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 a matter of speaking. Yeah, in a matter of speaking, I get high off Halloween, Bill. Why didn't the skeleton go to the dance? Why? Because he had no body to dance with. Do 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 do. Squeeze the baby. Until the juice runs down my leg.
Something that was really cool and everybody liked that happened in the last four years while I was going to school was that Christmas tree walkout. But I think when we look back 20 years from now, we're going to think, wow, what's, that was so stupid. Why did we ever do that? The event that had the most impact was definitely the walkout because it was really wacky. I mean, you just run out of school and act like a bunch of wild animals. The funniest thing I ever saw at South was, was during the, uh, the Christmas tree walkout. That was sophomore year. And, uh, there were there were people like climbing on each other's backs just to get up there. It was great. Um, probably the one that had more impact than any would be the Christmas tree walkout. I, I you know I think it was really neat that a lot of people got together and and really uh, let their voices be heard, even if it was through their feet. You can't touch this.
can't touch this. You better get a hype, boy, because you know you can't touch this. Ring the bell, school's back in. Break it down.
say to us? How's your quiz going? Oh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Let me see. That's a squared hunt right there. No. That's supposed to be squared. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sir. We're here to the cell of Mike Tyson. Um, <laughs> We will not be able to come in due to... He's not a senior, is he? No, no, that's no, right. No, he didn't even graduate That's yet. right. <laughs> but <laughs> nice. You're looking nice and tan there. You already took your vacation. Okay, well, you take it easy and... What'd you say? What? As you can see, there are no students allowed in the faculty mailroom. That's why. <laughs> We're going in. Ah, we caught you. And you are... Mrs. Raja. Mrs. Raja. I am Jeremy. This is... Brad, this is Miss Seward, this is Bill. Well, spring break is probably the highlight of uh, South High's end of the year celebration. We begin now with a fourth quarter celebration and we don't end. And here we have with uh, Adam Arona and company. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about spring break, Adam Arona? Uh, no? What do I think about it? Uh, yeah, what do you think about it, girl? <laughs> do you believe in love? Because I got something to say about it. <laughs> I guess. How are your grades this year, Mike? Doing all right. Yeah, don't lie. How are your grades this year, Mike? <laughs> And what are you going to be doing for spring break? Sitting on my butt because all my friends are going to Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Why aren't you going? I don't know how that goes. Why aren't you going? I'm not allowed to. I came home and got in trouble, and I'm irresponsible. What would you get in trouble for, Michelle? Um. You came home at 9.30 instead of 9 o'clock, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> There's Andy Velk. What do you think about spring break? I think it's very good, please. <laughs> please. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. You know where I'm going for spring break? Where are you going for spring break, Andy? <laughs> nice. She said, I don't know, just laugh. We are at the women's bathroom. Room number A6. We're just going to wait for them to come out. And look, they're trapped in wires here. They can't go anywhere. <laughs> Special Agent Bond, 007. Wait, let's be good citizens and pick up the trash. Every day is Earth Day, folks. Pick up that garbage. That's right. She's wearing a pink shirt. We know you're in there. Come on out. <laughs> Are you a senior? Who cares? What do you think about spring break? Do you realize you're standing in the door of the bathroom? Yes. I'm getting you on videotape. Yes. And this is going to the Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Really? Really. Really. In unison. Where are you going for spring break, sweetheart? Cancun. Who are you going to Cancun with? A whole bunch of guys. Where are you going for spring break? Nowhere. I'm working. Ouch. And where are you going for spring break? <laughs> Crib. Nice. <laughs> Do you see this sign here, folks? No students allowed. Looks kind of like the one by the faculty mail room, doesn't it? Okay, well, we're going to move on here anyway, just because <laughs> we have a camera and we all have authority. So. We're moving right in here. Oh, we got a just mass full of staff here. We have Miss Hyteen on tape, drinking her uh, Diet Coke in here. One awesome calorie, by the way. <laughs> and how do you feel about spring break, Miss Hyteen? I'm very excited about spring ba break, Jeremy. Thank you, Brad. How do you feel about me being in the faculty calf? It says no students allowed. I can't believe you're in the faculty calf, Jeremy. <laughs> okay. We're just breaking all the rules today, you know what I'm saying? Okay, ooh, there's Mr. Castle. We better get out here before he spots us. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just here to check up and just checking up to see if I have perfect attendance. And I'd like my free White Sox tickets, please. No, they're not we have to get Mr. Mike, Mr. Mike Ergens. Yes, yes. On the senior video, what do you have to say about spring break? That's what we thought. Spe and uh, Mr. Bauskas, where, where might you be going for spring break? Well, I'm going to stay around and make sure no one steals uh, the school. I'm going to be around here in Downers Grove. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I guess I should go on vacation. <laughs> okay. Miss Grape, where are you going on spring break? Um, nowhere. You're going nowhere? I have to stay here because, see, I work at kinder care and I can't get time off. Oh, really? I'm attending kinder care and I can't get time off either. <laughs> here we are with the man with his dog and um, his feet are cold. How do you feel, son? All I know is my feet are cold. Will you Someone help me? Someone please help this man help find me. some shoes. Donate some shoes. Help Support the me. NHS shoe drive. Help Bring your men's me. shoes to room 129. Thank uh, you very much. <laughs> Could it be possible for me to grab a piece of this cake here that I brought in so kindly for the English department? Would that be? No? That wouldn't be? You're not a very happy man, are you? You hate kids, don't you? You hate them, don't you? You love spring break, though. Spring break's going to be great, isn't it, Mr. Connaughton? 
All right. You have a wonderful day. Thanks. See Illinois. Uh, the zoo? <laughs> Lombard. Nowhere. SIU. Work. Downers Girl. Work. I'm not going anywhere. Durham, North Carolina. In Panama City, Florida. Break the show. Nowhere. Cancun. Nowhere. No. Panama City, Florida. Went to Westmont, Downers Grove, Woodridge, you know. Yeah, Appalachian Mountain Territory. To South Carolina. Mexico. Dalian and uh, Gary. To Beach. Orlando. Romeoville. Northland, Wisconsin. Orlando. Wi Western Illinois. Ooh. South Carolina. The Bahamas. South Padre Island. I don't know. Nowhere, basically. Camping. Cancun. To Bolingbrook. <laughs> Cancun. Yeah, Wheaton or Darien. Wisconsin. Cosmo Mill. Oh. Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, Naperville. Naperville. I haven't heard Naperville all day long. Would you happen to be going to the Sybaris? <laughs> <laughs> I've been in District 99 for 11 years, and this would be one of certainly the top three senior classes I've ever been associated with. Um, I had junior classes last year and a senior class this year, and they are just a delightful, ambitious, bright, intelligent, articulate group of seniors. I've been in the district nine years, and it's one, it's one of the better classes. Uh, uh, it, it seems like the people are able to talk to the teachers easier. It, it seems like the people want to laugh. It seems like they, they want to do some work. Um, I just had a few, besides Randy, Randall Bergman, I mean, some names that came to mind were uh, Namath Khan as far as working hard in class and, and trying to do the best he could. Uh, a crazy person by the name of Audie Vigero. Uh, I can't even tell you what Audie brought in once for a presentation in English, uh, two studies, but it was uh, probably uh, something that shouldn't be in school. Uh, some of Brown, those person, Susan Monahan, anything I said was, God, that's good, Miss McFadden. And, uh, the last person is Amy Linneman, and we, I tried, we tried to help her out. It seemed like she had a problem every day, but it was just nice to talk with her. Uh, two of the seniors I remember best are Jeff Cuzzo and Brett Richards. Um, and I said, no, Jeff, no videotapes. You know, we don't show videotapes or use TVs. He said, it will only take a few minutes, maybe five minutes at the most. So Jeff and Brett came up to the front of the room and put a uh, videotape in the machine and turned it on and it turned out to be their personal weekend update. They ended up going through an intersection too fast and got pulled over by a Downers Grove police, police officer and they have on tape the police officer talking to Jeff. It was hilarious. It was a real fun moment in the classroom. Uh, my favorite part was on the videotape the officer asked for Jeff's insurance card he couldn't find it. Seniors, um, please come back and visit us next year. We really enjoy when you come back from college, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, stopping by and uh, touching base with us means a lot to us. So good luck, have a great summer, and tremendous success whatever you do next year. Being an English teacher, I have a lot of cliches here. I wrote these down. Work, play, study hard. If you don't like that one, the future is yours. Um, be proud of who and what you are. And remember that uh, you, you are good people and that we do want to see you and, and we've enjoyed the experience with you and hopefully you've enjoyed, enjoyed the experience here at Downers Grove South. I love you all and remember always to choose chicken salad for your life and please don't drink and drive. Be good to yourselves because I love you. Good luck and bye-bye. I wish them the uh, best of everything, not just luck, because luck isn't important, but I hope they can use the energy, um, the sense of humor, the intelligence that they've shown me this year in the future, and if they do, they'll do just fine. Mr. Talent for 1993, Shalad Sen. second runner-up who receives a $10 cash and also $10 in McDonald gift certificates. Fran Cermak.
escorted by Aaron Leginski, co-chair of the Mr. Mustang contest. And our first runner-up for the evening, presented by Greta Olson, who also co-chaired the Mr. Mustang contest, includes a gift certificate from the Gung Ho restaurant and $15 in cash, Mr. Mark Flory. And now, Mr. Mustang, who will be escorted by Robin Smith, will win a $25 cash award, plus a haircut and style, and a free prom ticket, Jeremy Greer. Haircut and style, that's a good one.
funniest thing I ever saw at South was Brad Trust running down the street with his pants around his ankles. I guess the most embarrassing moment during my last four years has been, um, well, like freshman year, I um, <clears throat> kind of rolled down the, down the upstairs case. Okay, the funniest thing I ever saw here at South was the last day of school in my sophomore year, there was a whole bunch of people on the bus on the way home and someone opened the emergency exit and the whole bus got out and ran down the street. I would have to say the funniest thing I saw at South was when this girl like tripped and fell and her cake was in front of her and she landed right in front of it. The most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me was my 17th birthday. My friend had got me a cake and it was really nice and I'm on my way to physics class and I'm walking through the hallway. People are rushing by and I'm walking trying to take my time and make sure I don't, you know, drop anything. Someone pushes me. I fall over and land face down in my birthday cake with cake smeared all over my face, all over my clothes. Then I get to physics and I got detention for being late. So <laughs> it wasn't the best day. I had a really um, car that was a piece of crap. And in the beginning of the year, I couldn't get the trunk open. So all the deans were like huddled around my car trying to get it open with a crowbar. And it was pretty funny. I One day, uh, me, Dooney, and Corey Daniels, we was up on the second floor. And this guy, Milo, came up there and they pulled his pants down and dragged him across the hall in front of a whole bunch of people. <laughs> I wanted to take this opportunity to say hello, to say congratulations, and to say best of luck to all of you and the members of the class of 93 here at South High School. You're within another day or two going to be going across the contest field and picking up diplomas signifying your graduation from high school. I hope all of you the best of luck as you look beyond South High School and your future. I hope you've enjoyed your time here. I hope it's been something that you'll always remember. I think that if there's one thing I'd like to say to you is the fact that you have made a, a significant achievement. There are a lot of positive things about this school and the most positive thing are the students that make up the school. I first met you as sophomores. Uh, some of you were a lot smaller then, probably some of you were a little more immature then, and it's really been a, a great experience for me being at South the last three years and watching the class of 93 as you grow and develop and work towards that march across the field and across the, the stage uh, on June 4th to pick up your diploma. I hope you'll come back and see us here at South. I hope you'll always remember your experiences at South. I hope most of those experiences have been positive ones. So again, Congratulations to all of you, and best of luck in the future years. By the time you see this video, you'll have spent four years here at South High walking its hail of falls. You'll probably have seen your dean or teacher make at least one mistake during that time. You'll have danced the night away at prom and probably made some pretty wonderful memories along the way. By the time you see this video, you'll probably have said goodbye to old friends you'll anxiously be awaiting the time of graduation and its ceremony. I guess if I wanted to leave you with any message, it would be to tell you that as you leave South High, you'll take part of South High with you, and you'll leave part of yourself here with us. I wish you well as we say goodbye, and I want you to know that I look forward to the promise that all of you represent for the future.